Yes, yo, what's going on guys, I'm Entity Maze, and welcome to our reaction to episode 13 of Pocket of Monster 2019. Uh, of course, today it will be Ash vs. Leon, and, well, judging by uh, how last week's episode ended off, Ash vs. the Gigantamax Dreadnought, which will be pretty hyped to watch. So, how about we now react to it, Raph? So, three, yes. two, one, let's go! Oh, straight into it. Here we go. That's something I like about Pocket Monsters, as I said last week. They just dive right into it. Slowly starting to learn it. Slowly. Slowly, yeah. <laughs> 13 episodes in. One, two, three. Oh, that voice crack. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. We'll see. I didn't even know Dreadnought extended its neck like that, you know. It's in the Pokedex in the games. I missed it. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> this guy's nuts. Dynamax Pokemon. I... <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a I nice change of pace for his character. True. Because, you know, he's always oh. like, oh, I'll just watch you or I'll catch this Pokemon instead. But no, he's shunning with Ash. Let's go. Here we go with the nice little mini raid battle. Yeah. Oh <laughs> that's not going to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, oh, for God. once I won't be able to trap it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that's how to defeat it when its neck runs out. Uh oh, here we go. It's time. It's time. Power spot. Oh my god. B, B, Ooh, B. Music. Here it comes. So big! <laughs> so big! <laughs> By the way, we already knew it was Gigantamax Pikachu because of Twitter, so. Yo, bro, look how chunky it is! It can't even stand! Oh my god! Yo! Quick, is that going to be quick attack? Because I. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It reminds me of Totero when it. Uh, no, Grotto when it couldn't run. But this is way worse. Oh no. Bro, it's gonna go into the stadium! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so you're approaching. Bro, this thing is literally grabbing. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Gigantamax Pikachu. Yeah, that's your special weight, Elyon. Still strike. Oh! No way! Do you recognize him as the Alolo champion? Oh, okay, it's that's me. why you. <laughs> that's why you focus. On. Oh, crap! Here we go. Oh! Yeah, heavy thunder. Mm. I was gonna say, how could it even use quick attack? It should be max god. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I really hope. Mm, Good job. We'll talk about it later, actually. <gasps> Bro! Oh my god. Literal KO. Correct! And just like that, it's defeated. That's an no capture. <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, I like how his cheeks uh, mm. tells you when the time is over. Oh yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, if, go if only Go knew. Mm -hmm. If it is Rose. Yo, that's what Twitter was horny over, that wink. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Oh, I see, I see you, Raph. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to Get think himself it. as Leon. <laughs> eh? What's wrong with him? Oh, shit. Wow, another easy capture. <laughs> Ash don't care. <laughs> What's wrong with him, bro? Eh? Huh? 
Oh, bless him. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> mood, mood. Oh, they set it up something, Raph. Through the ranks. Oh my god. That's cute. What what is that score bunny doing? Masterclass, uh-huh. Probably gonna be like um you know how they do it for uh Wi Fi online, rank battles. Maybe because of ranks. He's, yeah, he's gonna have to go through all the leagues. Oh yeah, look, it's triangle. Yeah, they're gonna do that. Like oh, yo! Wow, that's amazing! A Wi-Fi battle reference. Well, actually, you know it's in the battle tower as well. Oh, oh so that's that's how he could fight the gym leaders, maybe? Because they'll yeah. be in the... Taking on the trainers from the different classes, yeah. Oh, that gives us the chance to see all the characters too, bro. That's so cool, though. Oh. He said he wanted to battle me, right? <laughs> well, champion. Ooh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Flippin' Chutel! Oh my god. What Yo! You... That, yo that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna sassy personality, that Rotom! <laughs> that got wrecked! <laughs> you get wrecked. Oh, well. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, so I guess he felt hurt like his old Pokemon. <gasps> yeah! <gasps> they're, gonna, they're actually gonna get it! But yo, it's like Carnivine and all that! For James! Mm. Hey! Yo, I like that! I like that! That mean- Oh, psh, just literally gives the a bag. Dynamax bath like that! <laughs> just put die in front of the name, innit? <laughs> oh my god, take a shot every time they say die! <laughs> I've actually got fucking vodka right next to me as well! <laughs> we know all of this, so I might as well just say this, Rav. Um, I'm glad Team Rocket have actually got a Pokemon for themselves now instead of always having that, um, what do you call it? Uh, Pelipper thing. Ooh. Ooh. That was, that was a clean opening right there. Here we go. Yo, the, yo, that was clean. Hold up. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, thumbnail goes. Uh. It's Charizard, man. Yo! <laughs> Carrying itself back. Come on, Ash. Show him not to mess around with the Alola champion. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Pikachu's getting wrecked, man. Out of the way like that. Yeah, that was crazy. Ah, too strong. Bro, he's literally getting wrecked. Too strong. Oh, here we go. Damn, Pikachu, you literally just defeated that Tapu Koko as well. I guess this does truly show Leon's the strongest. For real. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, the music, bro. Oh, here we go, finally a oh, hit. Oh, we got him. Mom said it's my turn to play on the Xbox. I want to play. <laughs> Pikachu just <coughs> realized you screwed up there. Ooh. Well, at least he's known how to do them. Ooh. They really do need more practice with Dynamite yeah. stuff. Just jumping into it straight away. We'll definitely get a trading episode, 100%, yeah. Oh, for sure. Can you use Thunderbolt on that Pikachu? Oh! Okay. Oh! oh, I thought I was going to land on Ash. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. Too slow, he's too slow, man. Yeah, I was literally about to say, it seems like um, because it's Dynamax, it loses its speed. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's too chunky. Yeah. Oh, whenever he says that, we know it's the end. Oh, too quick, man. Ooh, at least he's got another hit. Nah, no use. Yeah, he's gonna burn to death right here. Yep, yeah, it's over. Ah, uh, well, Raph. After um, after more than a year, 
Ash's win record is now over. What? He just returned to Charizard. He's still there. What the hell? You're right, actually. What? On the f on Revined? Excuse me, he's the champion. Hmm. We'll also speak oh, about that later. Oh. Oh, you betcha. That'll be, that'll be at the end of the series, bro. Hey, we've got to go for Rush now. Finally, man. It only took us 13 episodes, but still, it's good though. Yeah, it was a slow start, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, look, he's, oh, he's, he's a, imagining it. He's uh, hallucinating. Oh, that's so. That really reminds me of um, when he was thinking about battling Cynthia in the last time yeah. of episode. And good reference. Like I said to you, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, Leon reminds me of like being the kind of new Kukri Mask Real role model for us, you know. Well, flippin' heck. Pretty yeah. good episode again, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a good episode. I definitely don't think it's as good as last week's, but it's still nah, up nah, there nah, with being one of my favourites, <laughs> though. That's for sure. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, Why do we begin, though? There's so much to say about this episode. We're like, oh, we'll save this for later because of how much there is to say about it. Um, I wish I wrote notes. You know what? I I I'll help you out here. How about we start with our thoughts on how uh, Gigantamax Pikachu was in this episode? And I'll allow you to go first. Oh, too, oh, too funny, man. I mean, to be fair, obviously, because Pikachu is well known for its speed and, like, you know, its agility and stuff, putting on packs of weight and going back to its, like, Gen 1 retro sprite yes. is like, oh, crap. It really anticipated how fast it could move. And this is something I was thinking throughout the episode, and I was tweeting about it earlier as well, if, like, maybe Ash would be able to, like, improve Pikachu to um, become, like, sort of, like, a much lighter form than its Gigantamax form. Because at the end of the day, Dynamax and Gigantamax have been confirmed just to be a pro projection. Like, That's true, how is, actually. Yeah. How, is, how is Ash projecting Pikachu into its Gigantamax form without having to enlarge on the Pokeball? Do you know what I mean? So it must be, like, some sort of sync thing similar to, like, Ash Greninja. Or like I don't know, a completely different mechanic, but yeah, bro, it it, it made sense for us to Gigantamax because obviously yeah, Ash always gets you know the special treatment. Well, I wouldn't really call it a special treatment; it, it was just inevitable anyway. And yeah, um, of course. you know, we did have like Fat Pikachu in Gen One as well, but suddenly it turned skinny, starting with uh, Advanced Generation, obviously. So um, yeah, but you did literally take the words out of my mouth with everything about Gigantamax Pikachu. It will be. Quite interested to see how they um, approve upon that battle from today. Yes. Um, I guess what we'll, we'll talk about now is Ash's new goal, which is, um, you know, to obviously get to the master class. And I'll, I guess I'll start with my thoughts here. Yeah, go for it. Yo, I, I, I was so surprised that this is actually going to be the new goal for Ash. Like, you know, any normal person would think, oh, he's going to do the gyms even though he's a champion now, and then mm -hmm. he'll do the Pokemon League, and then that's how he'll be able to battle Leon. But no, they added um, the Battle Tower method slash Wi-Fi battle method for Ash uh, in the series. And I really love that, actually. And it actually makes a lot of sense now as well, because that way they can put the Gala Gym Leaders there for Ash to battle without him having to do yeah. gyms, despite being a champion. And it also, like I said, potentially could give us the chance to see old characters return, you know? Like, we've been seeing this in a podcast. It would be so awesome to see Ash battle, like, I don't know, Paul or something like that in um, one of these tournaments, you know? And yo, bro, okay, yeah. Literally, me and Ozzy were talking about Black and White when we were at your house at the weekend, obviously, bro. <laughs> and um, yeah. I say to Ozzy, one of my favorite things about Black and White with the tournament arcs and this series pretty much confirmed that we're going to get those tournament arcs back because we want uh, ash wants to get to the master class rank you know so yeah that's gonna make me so happy yeah i mean with episode seven we had a tournament in that episode as well which only lasted one episode so i feel like yeah. it could be a mix of these tournaments being one episode oh we're only gonna show one episode for this because we only really want to focus on this one character whereas slowly the tournaments will start getting more harder where they'll decide oh we want to focus on i don't know four episodes for this tournament like we did with the black and white tournaments or something like that you know and then yeah when it comes to the master class rank oh my god imagine if we get like 17 episodes like the alola league fucking hell that would be insane oh my god I mean, oh, it could go anyway. Literally, he's caught a flipping Dragonite. Like, for goodness sake, the way they could do this, the writers, how they've projected it, it could be anything. 
Oh, it's so exciting. Mm, literally. And one thing I noticed as well is that, um, well, I, I don't know, I'm just assuming this. They said that, you know, obviously, to get to the Masterclass rank, you need um, uh, just a certain amount of points. So that doesn't necessarily mean that those eight trainers in that rank are all gym, le uh, are all gym leaders or a champion or an elite. Yeah, they member. could just be random could trainers. Be anybody, exactly. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting to see who the top eight will be towards the end of this series as well. Oh yeah, like maybe for those tournaments you need three Pokemon in that one tournament he wants to enter. But then again, you know, the oh, Masterclass yeah, yeah. one was 1v1 only. Yeah, maybe it depends. On one day it could be a 1v1, on the other day it could be a 3v3 or whatever. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. He could he could rotate between the Pokemon he has, depending, of course, if he actually uses all of them. <laughs> but yeah. still. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's, that's going to be interesting. interesting. Mm. I feel like we should mention this as well. People on Twitter are getting quite... Mad, I guess. <coughs> Oops, sorry for the bub. Uh, <laughs> but they're not mentioning that Ash is the Alola champion yet. How do you yeah. feel about that? Well, think about it like this, okay? He's Ash has just finished his Alolan journey and he's come to Gala. Like he's keeping his 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 attitude. Like we've seen in the very first, well, the second episode, obviously, that he's got his trophies and everything, and he's not going to be like, oh, I'm the champion of Alola. I could do whatever I want now. His main ambition is still to become a Pokemon master and challenge everyone and get be the best he can be. So, like, I think, how can we explain it? People just need to be a bit more patient. Obviously, he didn't mm -hmm. go and say to go, oh, did you know I'm a champion, blah, blah, blah. But he's got that confidence to battle Leon because, one, he knows what his true worth is. And, two, that's just Ash's attitude from the get-go. He's always wanted to f take on people that are stronger than him or someone he knows that is strong because he wants to prove himself. And, like, you've seen it from the dialogue as well. Oh, my God, that Pikachu done this? That Pikachu's fast. That Pikachu's strong. It's it's all coming together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Everything fits together. Um, maybe throughout the time, you know, Ash will... We may even get some mini flashbacks of him talking to Go saying, you know, I used to come... I came to Alola and I became a champion there, but I still wanted to continue my goal to do this, do that. I've got Pokemon from different regions, all of that. Like, none of that's been mentioned, like, as of yet. But obviously, Ash recognizes existing Pokemon, so like, there is continuity. <sighs> yeah, a lot of continuity, and I think people just need to give it a chance. We're only in episode thirteen. Give it a break. Yeah. If it we... starts, <laughs> if it's like after episode fifty, then yes, you can start complaining. <laughs> oh God, imagine! But it ain't gonna happen. It's definitely just because. Yeah. It's been a bit of a slow start. They just want to establish, you know, the feel of this series. Precisely. What Ash will be doing in one episode. I mean, they only just introduced Ash's goal because they were focusing on the lab exactly, system man. part of this uh, series so far. Oh, because exactly. we want to showcase every single Pokemon this series. One day, Ash will be doing a mission in this region for this Pokemon, whereas in another episode, he'll be doing this tournament to, uh, you know, get his way up into the master ranking, which Precisely. will be. Um, I, I like that. I like that. It, it gives a side. Yeah, it gives fans what they want. Some people like uh, these filler, like, kind of slice of life episodes, so they've got that. Or, you know, they can focus on their favorite Pokemon ever. And then, you know, for those battle heavy people who just want to see battles only in the anime, you've got those tournament episodes coming soon. So, it's there's, yeah. a, there's everything for everyone here. Yeah, it's, it's, bro it's broken down into, like, different sectors. So, like, everyone gets to, like, you know, enjoy, like, literally what you said, like, fillers, you know, relaxed episodes heated episodes and then obviously the main story ones as for how i feel about um ash not being mentioned as the champion yet i just feel like it's him being humble at the same time you know he doesn't mm. want to brag about being this champion oh you do know that i'm the alola champion right yeah praise me exactly. praise me, bitch no ash isn't like that in the original series he would have definitely been like that because he bragged about everything even like getting a badge from misty and brock with a misty and brock were like Oh, you do realize we technically gave you those badges, right? Just for helping yeah. us with the gym. Um, and even he could brag on about his pre his previous leagues, you know, come second in Kalos, you know, mm. top 16 and everything, top eight, top four, everything. He could go on about that. And then people are like, wow, you really are strong. You've done all of this in all these different regions. But he ain't like that. He ain't like that whatsoever. Exactly. Uh, then it's going to make like a good gag as well when, you know, they go to a or whatever, then the wood is finally mentioned. Oh, yeah. Welcome back home, Champion Ash. And then Go will be like, Huh? You're champion? <laughs> yeah. Or something like he'll that. Literally, he'll literally react like, What the hell? You never told me. Yeah. He's too busy catching all the Pokemon. Mm. I mean, that's something as well. Like I said in the podcast, it's inevitable that when Ash goes to Alola, we're going to see his alone family, which by that I mean Kukui, yeah. Bernard, and his uh, 
months because they can't avoid yeah, that because of the slice of life feature. So oh, 100%. that's a perfect opportunity for the champion thing to be mentioned there as well. I don't think for all, yeah, but judging by Leon not even knowing Ash is the champion either, it looks like the lower league wasn't broadcast all over the world and like the other leagues as mm -hmm. well. And exactly. It was the first league only as well, so maybe it wouldn't be as special, but maybe just the people in Alola only know about a Pokemon League being only just built there or whatever. You never know. It's, it is it was a the first region. one built for them. Yeah, exactly. Mm. One thing I forgot to mention during the um, Gigantamax Pikachu section, though, is I feel like, you know, despite Dynamax being a new thing for Pikachu, I feel like before... Mm. They uh, Dynamaxed against Leonda. I feel like they purposely made Pikachu look a bit bad for her, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I was just thinking in my head, this dude just be a type of Coco, but he's having trouble with a Charizard <laughs> at the know. moment. I mean, sure, to he's the world champion, but it just came a bit yeah. eh to me at the same time, you know? For all we know, like, after a load of maybe Ash could have taken a break. Of, um, exactly, man. He's just only just come back now because of, you know, episode two. Uh, the last thing I had in my notes here, I, I was writing something when we were watching the episode as well. Um, mm. So if it confuses me a bit about this ranking is... Um, okay, yeah, so we've got this, you know, ranking system. Is it in Gala only or is it also in other regions? Because... You know, we've exactly. got like, this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we've got the regional leagues, you know, like, oh, you have to battle these gyms, and then you have to battle all these other trainers in the league, and then, you know, you can go into the Champions League, battle the Elite Foreign Champion, and then you can become the champion or whatever. But yeah. in Gala, there's, uh, the, or, 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 see, this is it, is it in Gala only or other regions? Because if it's in other regions as well, then what is the point of the regional leagues? Just to become champion, even though the champion has to go in that tournament to become the strong. Well, okay, I guess that is its own separate thing. If you want to become the strongest trainer in the world. But, yeah. but then again, champions don't also get in a higher rank. You have to start from the bottom if you want to do that. Like Ash is. Oh my god. That's a whole different type of confusion. Uh... I guess I'll explain it soon, but I just wanted to put it yeah. out there because that did kind of confuse me there. But I still do like this ranking idea. It, it, it's different. It's different from what we're used to, and I like that. And like I said, I love the tournament arcs and episodes, so I'm all for it. I'm all for it. It's going to be good for Ash as well because he's going to take on so many different opponents. He can develop different strategies from them. Before, you know, when he does take on Leon, he's going to be like, it's, it's literally going to be like, Oh my god, I don't really want to say it like that. It's literally going to be like Ash vs. Kukri again. Like the whole way he portrayed himself <laughs> in the battle. Yeah. Strategies and everything. Like taking on, like, maybe, you know, a Pokemon that Leon does own, that he owns as well, the same type. And then, like, you know, oh god. Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Who knows indeed? Hopefully. Time shall soon tell. But yes, I feel yes. like that definitely concludes the full review section. We actually uh, spent a Good time on the review this week, but I actually really yeah, man, enjoyed that. Good. There was, there was, a, lot. There was, there was a, lot a lot to talk lot. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. It was, um, Zach, if you're watching, I'm sorry. This could be the, in the podcast. <laughs> but we'll mention it anyway, bro. There's still some other things to mention, that's for sure. But yeah, that does conclude it today, everybody. So, you know, let us, yes. uh, let us know in the comment down... Uh, fucking hell, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> let us know in the comments down below what you personally thought of this episode and all these uh, other things we're discussing today. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to consider leaving a like, a share, and if you're new here, a subscribe along with him that bell icon to stay in loop with all things Pokemon anime related. Thank you for watching everybody, this is Anthony Maze and the Pokegraph, signing out.